In this video, I'll be making a desk slash vanity for my ex-girlfriend. She wanted a desk that has a top that can flip up with a mirror for her makeups. So this is the design I came up with. Overall, it's similar to a normal desk with some drawers on the side. But the top is made out of two pieces. One is attached to the frame, the other is attached to a shallow drawer underneath the top using some hinges. This shallow drawer can also be used to store some cosmetics. At the back of the desk, there's also a compartment for cable management. You can find free plans for this project in the description below. First, I cut all the panels to the final size using the track saw. I use 18mm MDF for all the panels. For the legs, I use 2x4 construction timbers. I first cut them to rough lengths using circular saw, then I rig them to width on the table saw. I cut the legs to the exact lens using the micro gauge. I then add a taper to the bottom of the legs using the track saw. Before cutting the joinery, I gave all the legs a quick sanding using 120 grit sandpaper. To join the panels to the legs, I'm going to use some dominoes. Here I'm marking out the locations where the dominoes will be located. Or well, if you don't have fast two dominoes, you could totally use pocket screws here. But well, I just found an irresistible deal on the fast two domino and I want to give it a try in this project. I'm going to glue up the desk frame in different stages. First, I glue up the legs to the back panel. Here are the front legs glued to the two side panels. So off the camera, I've made this shallow drawer below the flip top. It's simply assembled with pocket screws. I've also drilled a hole at the back. This is to allow me to access the pocket screw, which will be used to attach the frame to the top once the frame is assembled. Here I'm attaching this shallow drawer to the side panels with some screws.
So the bottom of the drawer unit is attached using pocket screws. Now let's focus on the top. I'm using 20mm thick engineered oak worktop. I cut out most of the flip top using the track saw. Then I finish the corners with a jigsaw. There were some saw marks left by the track saw. I clean it up with the chisel. To attach the flip top to the frame, I'm going to use the concealed hinges that are commonly found in kitchen cabinets. Just make sure you use the overlay type rather than the inside ones. I then added a small chamfer on all the edges before the test assembly. With the other part of the top clamped in place, everything looks to be working just fine. Now let's make some drawers. For the drawers, I use 12mm plywood. I cut the components to rough size using the track saw and then use the table saw to cut to define the dimensions. The drawers were simply glued and nailed together. When installing the drawer runners, I used a spacer to ensure the runners are at a consistent height and spacings.
for drawer handles, I'm going to use this oak floor offcut. I set my table saw blade at 45 degree, and then rip the board to around 25 mil in width. I then cut them to lens using the metal gauge with the stop block set up for repeatability. Before applying the finish, I added a small chamfer to all the legs with the block plane. For the finish, I used water-based varnish for the top. I applied one coat on the bottom and two coats on the top. I denave the top using 120 sandpaper between coats. For the legs and panels, I applied a layer of acrylic primer first using a brush and a paint roller. After the undercoat has dried, I applied a layer of satin wood planes in this coastline color from Wilco. The frame is now built, and all I need to do is to attach the top. When I designed this desk, I didn't have this top piece for the jaw unit. Then I found out there was too much flex when you press the table in the middle. So I added this piece of MDF using pocket screws, and it has massively improved the rigidity of the table. To attach the top to the frame, I attach this flip top first. Then I use some credit cards as spaces between the flip top and the fixed top. With the fixed top clamped in place, I then secure it with screws from the bottom. Now the desk is completed. This is my first desk build, and as always, it's not perfect. For example, the spacings between the jaw fronts are not consistent. And the oak worktop has developed a slight bow over time. But overall, I'm quite happy with this build. And hopefully my ex-girlfriend will like it too.